I need some advice about a problematic client. Is it okay to ever break privilege? There are a few exceptions to privilege. Do you want to talk about it? That sounds like a good idea. So, you're wondering if it is okay to break privilege? Why don't you consider the consequences for both keeping and breaking it? Well, by not reporting it I will be covering up a crime. And by reporting it I would be helping an innocent man. Alright, now why are you choosing to act the way you are? Is what you are planning to do ethical, personally and professionally? By not reporting, an innocent person will stay in prison. While doing nothing will result in me helping cover up a crime. Is this situation a not to warrant breaking privilege? You need to remember that you have to balance doing your duty for your client with following the ethical guidelines of the Bar Association and your own personal ethics. My client told me of a situation in which a crime occurred for which they committed but you're not claiming reps and ability. I am not supposed to cover up a crime. At the same time my client um, the person told me about a crime that they committed that someone else is serving time for. They has no intention of coming forward and fixing this problem. It is my duty to provide legal advice, but I am also not supposed to help cover up a crime or commit fraud. So you are conflicted over your personal ethics and your duty to your client. If so, weigh the cost of your duty to your client with your personal ethics. It does. I am supposed to help my duty to protect my client is help provide them a fair trial. At the same time, I don't want an innocent man in prison. You also need to consider whether you are considering and protecting the rights of everyone involved. So, I need to consider the fact that an innocent man's rights are limited due to being falsely imprisoned. At the same time I need to ask myself, if by reporting I am harming my client's rights. No matter what you do you are going to be sacrificing one person's rights over another. So consider why are you doing this. No matter what I do someone will face the loss of personal rights. Either through one remaining in prison or other going to prison for this crime. Am I willing to sacrifice my client's rights for someone who is not my client? Am I following what I think is right over doing my duty to my client? In the end, whichever choice you make, would someone else in your same position make this choice? If you apply a writing equally, would you act in the same fashion no matter what your client is like? I am representing him for this crime and he is not seeking legal advice concerning his past offenses. I have to follow both my own ethics and comply with carrying out my duties as a lawyer. If anyone else were in my position, would they consider the rights of their client above others? I don't believe they would. You can always use the crime and fraud exception. If this works, the question is, should you say anything or keep quiet? That is true. This exception allows for a lawyer to break privilege if the client told them something and by keeping it they would be covering up a crime. Thanks for your help. I know what I'm going to do and I plan on notifying the bar about using this exception.